beginning now is just this. We now have the attorney turn after that. We're not doing it. Okay. Let's see how it goes. They, they, they're doing everything they can to harass. All righty. What y'all doing? Um, I think I'm going to change my name to um, Mississippi Queen. Maybe. Would Judy get mad? I don't know. Because I was actually born in Mississippi. Oop, they don't have to dig for that. I just told it. That's kind of funny. Hey, Pam. Did you hear that? I was talking about your favorite place where I was born, which is Mississippi. Um, I said I was going to change my scope name to Mississippi Queen because I was just listening to it. But Judy might get mad since I'm not the queen. She's the queen. Um, okay. I am laughing again. Yes, it is entertainment for sure. Um, there's a lot of crop dust flying around the internet. Um, it's really, really comical because who in the world gets on and talks about how there cannot be an emotional response. There cannot be anything because that would be considered tit for tat on the internet as he continues to tit for tat all day. I mean, all. really. Because I inform people not to. You know, that's not a hard concept. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you yell, scream, whatever. If you're talking about and responding, then it is tit for tat, you think? But there are some interesting things. First of all, what I put in this title is <clears throat> a victim statement is proof. That actually was said with, with meaningful purpose behind it. And the first thing I have to say about that is that completely negates the crop dust that has been flying around for um, however long he has decided that he wants to use social media as a platform to advocate and fraudulently try to help parents that are suffering from parental alienation because, right. and listen closely, because if a victim statement is proof, first of all, it negates the fact that he is a constitutionalist in every sense of the word because a victim statement is exactly that, a victim statement. It is completely rebuttable evidence in a court of law, and anybody that believes in the constitution of our great nation would certainly understand. But you have the person who made the victim statement it's not saying it's not true, true that nothing happened. Nor does so it they made a false police report. Say anything about guilt or adjudication in any criminal proceeding, because see, in this great nation and any other constitutionalists would certainly understand that you get to face your accuser in a court of law, whether that be a victim or anyone else, uh, you know, whether it be a law enforcement officer that, that signs a statement against you, no matter who it is. The fact that on a police report, it is listed, and as he eloquently highlighted and went over and over and over about how many times the word victim is used, does not mean that the perpetrator is guilty of any accusations on said statement. Now, that, would, that is a simple concept for most people to understand. Um, again, but when you mince words and you try to create something that's not there, it probably creates a problem when there's other people listening that knows a lot more about it than just flinging some crop dust around to try to stir up some things. Um, the other interesting thing is that 
this crop dust needs to go ahead and land and be swept to the side because mm -hmm. he has repeatedly said that he does not get involved in other people's lives. Nope. Well, I will pose to the great people on the internet. Um, what is he doing if he is showing um, victim statements for a crime in another state that he has absolutely nothing to do with. And he so eloquently says, oh, I don't dig, it was sent to me. Well, doesn't that sound an awful lot like the couple in Pecola, Oklahoma? I didn't do it, it was sent to me. Okay, well, we already know that he goes on this great platform that he seeks fame on and he says send me what you got send me blah 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 i mean haven't we heard it many times it's actually recorded but yet he so eloquently tries to state in his monotone non-emotional non-antagonistic because law enforcement told him so that he does not dwell into other people's lives. Well, I'm just going to pose this question right here. Um, let's just get over the fact that he is blatantly ignorant as to what a victim statement is for and that it is not proof of anything. Um, there has to be an investigation, there has to be things done, and then when a perpetrator or someone that has been accused of a crime is adjudicated in a court of law and is found guilty of said accusations in victim statement, then you can reach out to say that victim statement was proof of guilt. Until then, you can't make that leap. And in doing so, it shows blatant ignorance and a, a strong, strong, strong need for this crop dust to continue to fly all over us. But back to his platform and what he does. He advocates for parents who he claims are in the same situation that he is in with that are suffering from and are dealing with parental alienation. Well, what we know because he has told it all over the internet is that he was accused and had protective orders in place against him. Awesome. So if we were using his logic, and if a victim statement, or even an affidavit claiming things had occurred that rise to the level to enter a protective order against this individual, if what he says is true, and a victim statement is proof, then lo and behold, he has just called himself and proved to this great little box and everybody on the internet that he abuses women or abused whoever it was that got the protective order against him. So we can do one or two things. We can either go with his logic and say, <clears throat> what is he trying to hide? Or is he just so dumb that he's trying to cover his own hurt butt? So he's reaching mm -hmm. and he's just ignorant. And he made that statement because he likes to <clears throat> dwell into other people's business. Nonstop. And so Non -stop when he dwelled into business of other people and decided to put it on the internet, um, he has to cover his butt somehow. You think? As out of one side of his mouth, he says, I would never get into someone else's court case. I would never reach out into someone's personal life. 
Have I we don't. all heard that? Give me some hearts if we have heard that from this little crop duster. Well, and you can put it in the comments. What is he doing when he gets involved with a police report, a victim statement, puts it online for the world to see, and he was not involved at all in this person's life, and you, ever. Yeah, when somebody asks you to show it. Now, would that do. be putting yourself and involving yourself in someone else's personal life and inserting yourself into a court proceeding or one that has already finished? Doesn't really matter, but in any event. Well, see, that would be wonderful exactly because Maternity did the, the same thing to my divorce paperwork and my CPO that my ex-wife had against me. Now back to the parental alienation thing. You know, you have to be really something kind of special when you go out and you advocate for something that is so real, that is really real and is an issue that there are some people that for whatever reason can't live or exist with the father or mother of their children and they proceed to try to alienate the other parent. But what is so sick and fraudulent about this particular advocate is he only does it so that he can convince himself that that is what has happened to him when in fact it has not happened to him at all and if you and if you go by his logic of a victim statement is proof that means that anyone if it ever happened that got a protective order against him when they signed that statement to the police and to See the judicial system that that is proof that he abuses the person that is signing the statement. So two things. He goes and inserts himself into someone else's life on the internet, doesn't know this person, never met this person, never done anything with this person, and by the way, except I think, you know, he probably took up for her when he was saying that the Turners were full of shit. But then now he wants to blast her um, a police report from a county and a jurisdiction that he has no involvement in whatsoever and give his two cents that basically if you believe what he says means that anybody that has ever signed anything against him saying that he does these horrific things to women or a woman or a family member or someone else that rises to the level that a court decides to enter a protective order I think he calls it a CPO then that must be proof that he did those things. Hmm. How do you get that both ways? How is it proof for some and not proof for others? Well, I'm here to set the record straight, and that is that a victim statement or any statement made that accuses another person of any crime or anything else, even in a civil matter, is not proof of anything. It is just what it says, a statement. Wherein law enforcement or our judicial system takes that statement and they decide what they are going to do with it. If, they are, if there are going to be charges, if there are not going to be charges, and even once there are charges made, and a great constitutionalist of this great nation should understand this, once charges are brought, 
even if a bond is set, no matter how high the bond is, it doesn't make it proof. So I'm a little confused at why there's all this crop dust of all this ignorance flying around on the internet and all this hypocrisy and how, oh, the other thing. Let me, say, let me say this, because it's just so easy to listen and just go, um, you completely negate everything you stand for and everything you say. Because, let's remember, crop dust flies around all over the internet and can sit behind a computer and play keyboard I'm going to try to destroy others' lives and insert myself into other, other people's business. And then he does so on the premise that he cannot work, as he says, because of all his back problems, spine surgeries, all these other health issues. Well, you know, I'm not one to mince words. You see, all of these but people are blocked. When crop dust, there's Pam. The one that made the false say, report with this woman to the police department. Um, do what you got to do because, but one thing I will say is I am not sickly. And if somebody is going to say they're going to come beat my ass or whatever it is that he that he thinks occurred, then all of a sudden he's not a sickly person. So really, which one is it? Does he need to be on disability? And you know, I'm just saying, you know, you put your business out online, things like that, then, you know, every single person listening, then, then gets to decide for themselves. Is he really a fraud? And is he really committing disability fraud? Because he said, He's not a sickly person, and he's this much, this big, this, you know, and, you know, he's saying he can fight. I think that's what he's saying. He says he's not sickly. Well, if you can fight, then how does your back, okay, we know this, this for a fact. Let's think about this. He can fight. He's this tall. He weighs this much. He said it. He admitted he's a fat ass. Okay. He said it. And then he proceeds to want his public on the internet to believe that he can fight someone. And he's done this on numerous occasions. We have heard, I think it was Matt that he was, he wanted to fight and, you know, all, you know, whatever. He just wants to fight. You know, he'll fight. Well, a man on disability for his back that's so severe that he has to get disability, and we know that he also can sit for hours on the computer. I mean, literal hours. And never once, never once says, oh, my back, I got to take a break. Oh, my back, I got to get up. You know, something to that effect. But yet, he gets disability money every month for that. So, I, you know, what is the truth? What is the truth? Again, it's a lot of crop fairy dust floating around in the air on the internet. Isn't it amazing that how fairy Tracy dust Eric is like, you know, threatened to disability and you know, now we have an attorney is kind of a manly immediately thing. following threatening disability? I, I'd say it was more like Isn't it fairy funny how dust that happens? because it's not really even reality. So let's just say fairy dust. I think everybody will get the point. Um, the fairy dust is getting very, very thick. Because somebody is trying to cover their little chap butt. Nope. Because there are some people 
on the internet that just don't believe a word he says and just don't believe that he's sincere. And how can you advocate and hold yourself out to be a constitutionalist when you sincerely think that a victim statement is proof? I think he's drank the Turner Kool-Aid. I think he actually is their voice. Mm. And if you look, he is actually going after the same individuals that the Turners were. Because those individuals are coming at me. But no, 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 no. He doesn't insert himself into other people's lives. But but you know, showing a, a victim statement of a possible domestic violence incident, we don't know. Nobody was there. And unless he's talked to law enforcement and, and the prosecutor's office, then how in the world would he know that that happened? Oh, I know. Wait, he goes by screenshots. Huh? Well, what a hell of a note if we could convict people of crimes in this country based off of a screenshot. Hmm. I think somebody needs to go back and study their, the basics of their constitution. And this little thing called due process and how it actually works. But, you know, it just is whatever his little fairy dust self needs to fit his narrative for the day. And that's okay because we're used to it. We are so used to it. It's just what he does. Okay, let me look at the comments and see what y'all have. Yes, he wanted to fight the same person he has now gotten information from to dwell into someone else's life and continue their fight against while their little happy butts have been told to shut the fuck up. Isn't that ironic? But you know, he's not an agitator, and he doesn't he doesn't antagonize anyone. He's just out here on this nice little internet doing his own little thing and not being emotional. Well, the other thing I want to bring to everyone's attention is the fact that he says everything he has ever said is public. Okay, well. That is just what we call, well, there's nothing else for us to call it except a lie. That is a lie because why would I have my other account was taken all the videos people. from his buddy NJ, all the videos of him that he, that he put on his YouTube when he was attacking the Turners. Because I looked before I came on here just to make sure I wasn't misspeaking about the subject. And those, and those words and his commentary on all of that are no longer seen. And the other thing, all those awful, horrible, horrible videos that he has made about everyone you know, and he says, to try to cover his little butt, he says that um, sometimes you have to go out on the internet and antagonize folks to get them to admit the truth. I never or said to, that at all. To tell on themselves Not and admit to things that they would never, ever admit to. Well, that would be an antagonizer. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, I think that all of us over right here, are intelligent enough to know that we don't say anything that we don't want anyone to know on a public social media platform. I think that would be only him that is that stupid. And he has done it many, hide. many, many times. And so right now, the, the fairy dust creator that is saying Everything he has ever said is public, and it is there to see. Well, no, it's not. That is a lie. Um, because all of the videos he has done. Oh, that awful video about um, about Miss Pam. 
with him screaming and getting so excited over over a terrible, awful scene in a movie. He got so excited and so into it that it has really been deemed probably the biggest psychological break ever seen on social media. Right. And that's not anywhere to be found by him. But guess what? It is on the internet, but I guess he'd have to find it now, wouldn't he? He can't hide it. So, you know, it would be something if if the fairy dust kind of settled and um, this man would kind of enter reality and understand that that what he says every time he hits this is pretty much a contradiction to what he has said numerous times before. Numerous times before. And the biggest one is I don't, I would never reach into someone's personal life. Oh my God, if that happens to me, it's happened to him, he claims, while he's out there doing it to other people. And I would suggest that the fairy dust needs to create some more fairy dust out of his ass and show some proof about anyone reaching into his personal life and doing anything to him. Because see, all of that is a lie too. You've admitted to contacting and my wife and, and being in the inbox to make my himself the, seem important. Facebook page of my daughter. Oh, I want to see some more proof too. Since we're talking about proof, you know, victim statements or proof, he says, I would like to see the proof that he actually has introduced someone of the opposite sex to his wonderful children. Because from what he said in his own words, and that is the only reason I know, is that he has to see his daughter in therapy. No, you knew that from my ex-wife. So I'm just wondering, and I'd like to see some proof, if, if he did that at therapy. Did he take this wonderful woman that had no idea who she was getting involved with to a therapy session with his own daughter that is there because he is a lunatic? Now, that's what he wants the people on the internet to believe. But you have to always remember what he has said previously. It's just an amazing thing. It just is. It is absolutely an amazing thing. And then, the fairy dust. I mean, my gosh, the fairy dust has been blowing around for what? I mean, he is on it 24-7. And he says, I'm not going to respond. I will not respond. Because then they have a defense. Okay, only in his mind does somebody need a defense to his antagonistic, ridiculous, social media, bullying nonsense. Right. Because you see, the reason he does it is because he has no one in his life mm -hmm. that he can reach out and punch in the face. So he takes that opportunity on the box. Right. And we have seen it. He does it. Just like that video he did about Miss Pam. You know, like I said, that was the biggest psychological break ever seen on the internet. The second largest one, and this is all over, I mean, completely across the board on the internet. I think y'all will agree. We saw the second biggest psychological break when the fairy dust would not settle and was in front of that computer for days days while he was claiming he has a real life now how can one claim they have a real life when their time is documented and time stamped on this box and on YouTube and it would be on Facebook if he didn't get banned nonstop. 
So I think Miss Judy was correct in that the liquor store has a zero proof right. crop dust vodka. It's right. zero proof, nine, 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 nine. This is what they do. Nine. And I would also like for him to prove to the great people on the internet that he tries to impress um, with his unfounded knowledge in every realm of whatever he speaks upon. I would like for him to prove that a police department received evidence from him, who, what he claims is evidence, on a hard drive or on a thumb drive. He should be able to prove that. And in fact, you would think that that, you would think that that police department would have that logged in somewhere when somebody drops off a thumb drive of evidence. They do. On a big old crime that he is accusing the person that he stalks nonstop, that would be me. Right. Of doing you would think they would have that logged in somewhere, wouldn't you? I'm just thinking. You do. But maybe nobody else knows what they're talking about. Maybe he actually believes what he thinks up in his head. So what else y'all got going on? Yes, he wanted to fight Justin. I'm going to look at this. Yes, he did. That would have been something. Squeal, piglet, squeal. I call it, yeah, and, and other people, and he has no idea who has seen that video and said, oh my goodness, that man is a lunatic. And they wouldn't ask. Everybody that has seen it not one person has said, oh, my goodness, what did that woman do to him? Nobody has asked that. Isn't that odd? Amazing who you've shown it to, I'm sure. Of the thousands of people that have seen that video. Thousands. I bet he can't find out where it is. But he doesn't care. Of the thousands of people that have seen that video, not one person has said, what in the world did that woman do to him? Because, you know, that's his defense. His defense is that he can do and say whatever he wants if someone mentions his name or someone doesn't speak the way he thinks they should speak about him. Hmm. I'm just glad. I want to know if he's actually disabled or if he can fight. I wonder which one that is. I don't know, but, you know, what... The one thing about it, when you're a liar, and liar and fraud go together, because you have to be a liar to be a fraud. There's all kinds of fraud. There's disability fraud. There's fraud on the internet. There's fraud lots of places. And the one common denominator amongst these people that stick together on the internet is the word fraud and the word lies. And oh my goodness, let me say this too. If somebody knows, y'all go get that Mr. Crazy Horse fella. Because I'd love to talk to him. Somebody can give him my number and he can call me if he doesn't want to come public. Because <clears throat> I have some questions. And again, when you speak on a public forum, on a public social media platform, you can't expect people not to have questions when you talk and be able to ask questions or speak about what you say. My question would be, exactly what county was that in, in Texas, where a law enforcement officer in Texas got 11 to 24 months for cyber stalking him? Where exactly was that? I would like for him to let us know that. Where was that? Now that would be that would veteran. be something that would be now really relevant. That's a veteran who I had on one of my scopes that had nothing to do with them. And and that person is on. Don't forget, it's a female. Now, mind you. And that person is on. This woman is blocked. Crazy Horse is a veteran from Vietnam that I had on one of my scopes the other day with him and another veteran. Remember it. 
Now they're going to harass him. See how that works. What, Pam, especially since who provided him with a thumb drive? Oh, and remember, you know, because I already called out that other lie when he caught, when he said, I turned in all these chats. And then he turns right around and says, as soon as I go through the other one, which he had just said minutes before in the same video that he turned in. And I would just like to know exactly where he turned that in, because you would think that they would have a record of that. Just ask him. I'm sure he can show it on the internet. Hey, Pam. Yeah, the Turner, who provided him with the thumb drive? Hold on, I gotta close this so I can hear. Hello, Pam, I'm waiting for you to tell me. And, you know, I think everybody should hush, hush, and, and let's just keep it between us about where all these videos are playing. I think so. But what I will say is that it is not. It is way more than 30 people. It just is. And like I said, not one person, thousand, what, not one person said, what did that woman do to him to make him attack her that way? Didn't attack anything. Hmm. And I would like to know why he lied and said that everything that he has said remains public. It doesn't, but thank goodness that we had the where for all to make sure we collected it all before he decided to put it down and hide it as he creates his defense for loving on the Turners and doing exactly what I said was his purpose for doing everything that he has done, which is documented in his own words since August and to other people, lots of other people. How about that time he said to one of our good friends that um, he was going to make this truce and he didn't say it was just to have peace. What he said was, um, and, and I want you to help me and lie to crowd target Karen Materna and say these things about the person in New Jersey and how, my, and how she was all involved with that and lie and do that. Yeah, we forget that, that fairy dust has been, you know, completely floundering around in the internet space. And he can only hope that somebody takes a dust cloth and just goes and wipes it all clean, but that doesn't happen in the internet world. does it so those are my things my things are um how is someone that gets a disability check now now he will say he is not true disability that and this this is what he put this out to the public that it's social security and he paid in and it is his insurance well it still has to be approved and if he if he can fight and is not a sickly person, like he said over and over, then why does he get that money? Can you show one place where I've had a fight? Without doing anything. Can you show but that? Saying, no. He's hurt and his back is messed up. But then he can say he's not a sickly person. Oh, it's just food for thought. It's just some food for thought. 
And then he does not go into anyone else's personal lives. Well, you know, when people have conversations with other adults that have nothing to do with what he is accusing it to be, but yet he can go out and and get, because people sent them to him, you know, um, police reports about something that had absolutely nothing to do with him whatsoever and think that it is his business to put his two cents worth and that police report, that victim statement all over the internet. Gosh, that's a hell of a note. As he is saying, please don't tip for cat. That's what that's what law enforcement will tell you. But I'm going to do this, and as long as I don't become emotional again and have a psychological break like I did and have on several occasions, then uh -huh. I can do this and nobody will notice. Uh -huh. That's how ignorant he is. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Oh, life, life, life. So how are y'all? This is what they do every um, day. Give me your two cents. Day, I would like your two cents. There's mine. There's mine. Hello. I see no comments. Does anybody want to come on and say something? Listen to those dump trucks. Mm -hmm. Pam, you didn't answer me. I don't know who gave him the thumb drive. Oh, and the other thing he did, and he told on himself, oh, Lord, the fairy dust was just flying around. He couldn't help it. He said he, 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 said he can't record on his phone. Well, we know because he shares it, and he lied and said that everything remains public, but he shares it all at one time or another, and he can't record from his phone. So my other question is, is if... If this person has a real life instead of a fairy dust life, then how in the world, if he's not using his phone, would he be able to record literally hours and hours and hours and hours for months of videos? That would mean that he sits in that chair that long. So anybody with some common sense would be able to, you know, understand that there is no life outside of him sitting in that chair and that computer. Because if you can't use your phone to record, then, you know, how in the world, you know, Oh, that must be why he gets so angry when I speak at his three hours a week that he leaves the computer to go to his son's football game and gets so angry that he's missing something. Yeah. You know, and I figured it out. He has to stay up all night long, mm -hmm. all night long and all day long. He's got to be so tired. Um, because Miss Judy, you know, she works and she works hard. So she chooses to speak and give her opinions in the early morning. Well, he gets mad if he can't. But if I give my opinions on something, they get mad. See what I'm talking about with this back and forth is they're trying to manipulate everything. Over and over. These people don't leave it up because they are cowards. Well, no. 
we're not cowards. We just like for you to stay up for 24 hours in a row and then 48 and then 72 Never because happened. it shows exactly how insane he is. Would everybody agree? See, it's not rocket science. I don't even stay up 24 hours at all for anything, let alone this. All right, does anybody want to come on? Because I am sure that he will be so set off but we'll come on and make sure he makes the statement because it changes things, he thinks, that he's not antagonizing anyone as he blows his fairy dust out of his ass all over the internet. And he will use a monotone voice and speak for in circles, trying to convince himself that he should not go tit for tat. And it's quite comical. So you see, when the fairy dust starts to blow out of his diaper rash ass from sitting in the chair for so long, we laugh. And we have done things, I have at least, like change my name on my Facebook page just so he tells on himself some more about his obsessions and his reasons and why he wants to lie on the internet nonstop. And now he is the voice for the Turners. See, this one wants to go ahead and try to manipulate all this. There are a lot of people this lady has done stuff to. And there's a lot of them in contact with for law enforcement purposes. And her changing her name on Facebook is something that was sent to me. I have her blocked on every social media platform, period. Doing it. Um, it is very comical and very much entertainment. Mm -hmm. Although it crosses a level when he does things like he does to Miss Pam and tells lies on the internet. Mm -hmm. And just to try to keep On the internet and just to try to keep it must have stopped it stopped so he must have got a phone call or something she'll be back I'm quite sure 